Yeah, it's a tricky question that because uh, there's so many possibilities, but uh, just off the top of my head, I would probably say one of Mario Rinvalucri's books from way back when, in the 80s, uh, like uh, Challenge to Think or Grammar Games. I mean, um, they influence, influenced me a lot in, in my own career, I think, because a lot of my, my own writing was inspired out of that. I just liked the idea that uh, learning and teaching could be actually fun and not just sort of drudging, drudging through a syllabus, you know, injecting a bit of life into things. I wish I'd known that, it's, uh, that silence is not a problem on the part of the teacher. Uh, you don't need to be constantly filling in the void. You can let students um, stew over things, I suppose, and listen more to the student. Let things come from the student rather than be constantly worried about what you're going to say and how you're going to fill the, the space. Feeling worried that uh, you need to be filling all of the gaps. No, uh, take it a bit easy, let students think, let students fill the gaps themselves. Today I've been talking about um, pronunciation in the dictionary and the, the key idea is that uh, learning all of the information on, in the dictionary that's available and how to use it is uh, the greatest investment that you can give to your students because once they, ha once they know how to use and exploit that stuff for themselves, they can then take flight they you know, and uh, learn by themselves when you're not there. So just, they just need to learn those few little tricks and then they, they're on their way. You know, they've got their own independence from you, which is a great investment.